everyone, and here's our devotional for Monday, June 17th, 2019, entitled, You're Not Finished Just Yet. Satan's objective is to stick you in a wilderness and leave you there to rot. Just when you think it's all over, God makes a way of escape for you. Over and over again, Satan works his plans against those who have accepted Jesus Christ into their lives. However, God always has the last word. Satan's plan is to keep creating a wilderness for you to end up in so that he can stop you from fulfilling your destiny. I've got news for you. God is never going to allow this to happen. Even when it appears that you have been spending a long time in the wilderness, God is in the background of your life, preparing your escape exit. It says in Isaiah 35, 7 NIV, the burning sand will become a pool, the thirsty ground bubbling springs. In the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow. It's not the purpose of God to send you springs of water into whatever wilderness experience you find yourself in. It is God's purpose to bring you out of that wilderness and into a wide open place. As it says in Isaiah 54, 2 NIV, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. Obviously, Isaiah was speaking to Israel here, but the principle applies to all of God's children. God sends streams in the desert as a stop gap measure, as stated in Isaiah 35 7, to keep you satisfied. However, his intention is to cause you to enlarge the place of your tent. So if the enemy has told you that your best days are in the past, look up. Your redemption draws nigh. Praise God. I don't know if I should be reading these to you guys, but these are definitely for me. <laughs> um, I can remember the, the last time I was in a major wilderness area, and I did get an answer. Um, <clears throat> it was a while, but you know. And I know that most of you have heard this story so many times, you can go ahead and tell it for me. So, but I'm going to say it again, just in case. So, um, just, you know, a lot of crazy things happened and, you know, I was working at MCI and really enjoying, you know, just getting out and, and working and everything like that. But then I had to quit working there because of transportation and I hated that. Um, but I kept wondering, well, God, what's my purpose? What am I doing? What, what, you know, what's going on? And he had me read the book of Deuteronomy and Deuteronomy, if I am not mistaken, is a book that prepares us for what God has for us. Like, it prepared um, the Israelites for walking into the promised land. And so Moses is like, okay, before you go in here, these are things you need to remember, and these are things you need to know. And what I didn't know at that time was that God had a quote-unquote promised land for me. He had a work for me to do that has just made my life very interesting. Um, you know, in 2001, my first solo CD came out, and, you know, I ended up singing at all kinds of different places and stuff like that, and I loved it. I mean, it, it just, it was like, wow, you know, and, you know, you think you're in that dry spell, in that wilderness or whatever, but yeah, God is not done with us. Um, I think, um, <laughs> I don't know the words yet, but there's a song by Torin Wells. It's called God's Not Done With You. And, oh, I love it. So look it up on YouTube or on whatever you have because it's an awesome song and it has really helped me. Um, so may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.